Der Patient kam zu einer Routine und A patient visited my dental office for a routine checkup. During X-ray diagnosis I discovered a cavity in tooth 14 that required treatment. I chose a combination of venous bulk fill and venous pearl as venous bulk fill allows cavities to be filled quickly in increments of 4 mm. This convenient bulk fill technique helps a lot to save time for posterior restorations. The original filling was removed using a round diamond tool with a plated grinding face, and I verified whether all residual composite had been removed. The edges of the cavity were smoothed down using a diamond-plated oscillating file, chamfered and beveled. This was first performed proximally, then occlusally. The cavity was excavated using a round plastic burr in order not to damage the pulp. I placed the rubber dam so that the tooth stayed dry and secured the acrylic matrix band between the teeth using wedges. For the bonding procedure, I chose the self-etch system iBond self-etch, which was placed in the cavity and actively moved within the cavity for 20 seconds. Air was then blown onto the adhesive in a fanning movement, beginning in the proximal area and moving towards the center, and starting with a gentle current of air that becomes stronger towards the end. This was continued until the adhesive no longer moved and a nice glossy surface was achieved. The depth of the cavity can be measured using a periodontal probe. Venous bulk fill can be cured up to a layer thickness of 4 mm. It was placed in the cavity starting from the deepest point of the proximal box. To prevent air bubbles from becoming trapped, it is always important that the cannula remains within the material during application. Venous bulk fill was cured for 20 seconds. In order to establish an effective contact point, I pressed the Heidemann spatula against the matrix band and the adjacent tooth during. After curing, the material was nicely fitted to the matrix band. And, as can be seen, there was still sufficient space for the 2 mm covering layer of venous pearl to follow. The two layers of venous pearl A3 that followed reconstructed the occlusal surface as well as the other morphology of the tooth. The wedges and the matrix band were removed and the contact point verified using dental floss. A lens-shaped diamond tool was used to finish the transition areas of the filling and verify the occlusion. Pre-polishing was now performed using the pink Venus Supra pre-polisher, and the entire area was then polished to a high gloss using the gray Venus Supra high gloss polisher. The result was a highly aesthetic outcome that could be easily and reliably achieved thanks to the bulk filling technique with Venus Bulk Fill.